Hello, I'm Francis Richards with Motion System Design Magazine, and I'm here with Rick Wood, Managing Director of Roll-On Corporation. We're here at IMTS, and today Rick is going to tell us a little bit about the system behind us, and from what I understand, it came together on a very short time frame. Is that right? That's correct. What we had to do is we were creating this demonstration unit to show off our uh, ELM and robot actuators for the IMTS show. So what we have is two X axis, a Y with two carriages, independent carriages, and two Z axis. These Z axis are where we have uh, targets for a laser gun to shoot the targets, and it's a game, um, kind of like a shooting gallery, but uh, something that you can, is every time you hit one of the targets, the speed in the actuator will increase. So the game becomes more challenging the more we hit the targets and the higher the score goes. So what we did though, we we only received the frame from our frame builder on August 1st, but we ended up shipping the entire frame functional and working by August 27th. So it was a very short turn, turnaround, yes. but it was able, we were able to do that because of the interoperability and, and uh, the ability of each of our parts to uh, conform and meet made up to all the other parts. So it was a very successful operation. It wasn't stress-free, but it was very easy to do. Can you talk about some of the challenges? Well, some of the challenges, number one, is we're just a mechanical company. We have a bunch of young, very talented mechanical engineers, and none of us know anything about electronics. So with the help of our partner, BNR, we were able to program the system, uh, integrate the drives. We had a very good frame builder, a very good uh, electrical uh, circuit panel builder. They were put all together. We did some of the control wiring here, and then it was a matter of just writing the software and the code and uh, developing the whole uh, the game concept and then coming up with something that was interesting to play and would be attractive and also ab able to show the capabilities of our actuators. So about the capabilities, what kind of speeds are we talking about? Well, right now the x-axis are moving about a meter and a half a second which actually isn't even close to the top speed. They can go five meters a second at a 5G acceleration rate. These are just moving at a meter and a half a second in 1G, but that's still pretty fast. That is fast. The y-axis, the other part of the interesting y-axis, normally a y-axis with two carriages, the two carriages would move together simultaneously. This you can see the carriages are actually moving independently and they're giving us, that we can move them together or we can move them independently and we also have collision avoidance enabled so that they're not going to crash into one another. Okay, so what kind of applications and industries are you thinking about for, for these? Well, this is it's a great product for pick and place, for automotive assembly, for any kind of automated assembly that uh, you have to do. Um, also, we see uh, hard disk drive, semiconductor, machine tool, automotive, packaging, there's a lot of case packing applications where it's pick and place and moving things around. So there's, there's quite a bit. This particular machine we think actually could have a military or a law enforcement application because it's this whole this whole product is scalable. We can go six meters in stroke, y direction, x direction, move targets around in quite a large field, and give the user a very big, broad target scope to go after. Interesting. Well, thank you for explaining that. Anything else we should know about the system? Well, the system is. I mean, the system is a standard belt-driven uh, actuator. We've got uh, the robot axis is the Y axis is a very strong and robust beam. The load capacity on that Y axis is somewhere in the neighborhood of 30,000 newtons. You wouldn't design to 30,000, but we could probably, you know, you could probably lift um, 500 pounds on that carriage and not have a problem with the roll moment and, and do it successfully. You're not going to be able to move it at 5G, but you know, certainly the, the actuator has capacity for very high, high loads. And these are not the smallest actuators we have either. We have uh, up to 220 millimeters in the, watt, in the robot axis, and we also have up to 110 millimeters in the, uh, for the ELM actu actuators. Okay, thank you very much. All right, thanks.